So you have to say, zucchini, which is also known as courgette, is one of the best vegetables around. All right, technically it's a fruit, but we all treat it like a vegetable. Anyways, in my opinion, the zucchini gets a bad rap as it's rarely used as a star of a dish. It's typically just thrown in with pasta, mixed in with some rice, or thrown in with other vegetables as a side dish. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a dish where the zucchini is the star and the flavors are gonna blow you away. We're talking Spanish garlic zucchini. This dish is known here in Spain as calabacín al ajillo. It's got so many great flavors, it's super easy to put together, and the texture of the zucchini is absolutely incredible. You can serve this dish either as a tapas appetizer or even as a side dish. Either way, with one taste, this promises to be one of the best zucchini dishes ever. Let's begin by grabbing two zucchinis, rinsing them under some cold running water, and patting them completely dry. Once the zucchinis have been washed and patted dry, I'm going to cut each one to thick slices that are half an inch thick, which is about 1.25 centimeters. Then we'll place the slices of zucchini in a single layer and season them with sea salt on both sides. And we'll add the slices of zucchini into a colander and let it sit there for exactly 30 minutes. You know, zucchini is 95% water. So by taking this step, that salt's gonna help extract some of the water. That way when you fry the zucchini, it doesn't absorb so much oil, which is what makes it soggy. It's gonna keep it firm, which is what gives this dish that incredible texture. While we're waiting on the zucchini, I'm gonna grab six cloves of garlic, Remove the skins from each clove. Roughly chop the garlic. And add it into a mortar. Then we'll grab a generous handful of fresh parsley. Roughly chop it. and add it into the mortar with the garlic. This is a quarter cup of fresh parsley, which is about 15 grams. We'll pinch in a little sea salt, and we'll pound down on these ingredients just between 30 to 45 seconds or until they're well combined and then set it aside. All right, let's move back to the zucchini. It's been sitting here for exactly 30 minutes and plenty of that water has been extracted out of the zucchini. For the next step, I'm gonna start adding the slices of zucchini on top of some paper towels, making sure they're on a single layer. And we'll gently pat down the slices of zucchini with some paper towels to remove any of the excess water. Once all the excess water has been removed from the slices of zucchini, I'm gonna season them with some freshly cracked black pepper just on one side. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a large fry pan and heat it with a medium high heat. We're not gonna add any fat into the pan right now. We're just gonna heat it on a medium high heat between two to three minutes. That way the olive oil doesn't lose its flavor and it gets incorporated into the zucchini. After heating the pan for about three minutes on a medium high heat, and as you can see, it's nice and hot, I'm gonna add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This is about 35 milliliters. And start adding the slices of zucchini into the pan. You wanna make sure they're on a single layer, so cook this in batches. With the amount of zucchini that we have, we're gonna get this done in just two batches. After about two and a half minutes, I'm gonna start flipping the slices of zucchini to fry the other side. I always like to do this with two spoons as it feels like you have more control, but you can also do this with tongs. After exactly five minutes, that's two and a half minutes per side, these slices of zucchini look like they are perfectly fried. I'm gonna start removing them from the pan and transferring them into a dish with some paper towels.
and we'll continue to cook our second batch of zucchini in the exact same method. And once again, you want to go about two and a half minutes per side on a medium high heat. This is going to give you a beautiful golden fried color in the outside, in the inside, an incredible texture. Once all the fried zucchini is done, I'm going to lower the fire in the pan from a medium high heat to a low medium heat and let that pan sit there. That way it can stay nice and hot. Meanwhile, I'm going to transfer the slices of fried zucchini into a serving dish. For the final step, let's cook up our garlic and parsley mixture using the pan that we have on a low medium heat. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This equals 15 milliliters. And we'll add in our garlic and parsley mixture into the pan. And we'll start mixing everything together. You want to make sure you mix it continuously. We're only going to go between 20 to 25 seconds. You don't want to overcook that garlic. You just want it to be nice and aromatic. After about 30 seconds, this mixture looks like it's ready to go. Once again, you don't want to overcook that garlic. I'm going to remove this from the heat and transfer the mixture over the slices of zucchini. Folks, check it out. Our calabacina al ajillo is done. Spanish garlic zucchini. Such an incredible aroma coming out of this and a beautiful presentation. But the beauty of this dish is the texture of those zucchinis. Let's give this a try and see how it tastes. Now this is what I call one heck of a good looking zucchini dish. Here we go. It is so good. Such simple ingredients, the garlic really shines through. But the beauty of this zucchini is just the texture of the zucchini. By salting it and draining that water, it didn't absorb so much olive oil, so it's got an incredible texture. Folks, you saw this, a classic Spanish dish. Very easy to make, simple, minimal ingredients, make at home, guaranteed to be one of the best ways to enjoy zucchini at home. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Martin John Madsen, Jesper Haloum, and Jim Owens. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on a Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my page in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.